The supercar market has now transitioned from an unprecedented period of growth to a complete downturn, resulting in some crazy deals now being available. In today's video, we're going to provide a live status update to understand which key categories have been affected the most. So we're going to take a look at certain sectors in the car market to see how the car market values are trending. And to do that, we're going to look, we're going to be using AutoTrader and we're going to be using the AutoTrader plugin. Now the AutoTrader plugin for Chrome facilitates the ability to see the legacy history changes in all the values of these cars. So you can see the initial prices that the cars were put on at and any changes that occur, whether they go up or down throughout until the current time period. Now the car sectors that we're going to use are sports cars, supercars, special edition supercars and hypercars. And we're gonna be using certain cars within those car categories as well. Now to achieve this, I've set up certain Chrome windows with certain categories of cars within those windows to be able to show you how the prices have changed across those different car categories. So before we start looking at Auto Trader, there's two caveats I need to mention. Number one, we're not gonna be looking at specification. Obviously these cars are gonna be impacted by specification across the different car sectors. And that depends obviously on the type of car that we're looking at in within those sectors. Also, I'm gonna be filtering on lowest first. So the lowest valued cars are gonna be listed first of all. Now within sports cars, the first car we're gonna be looking at is the good old Lotus Amira. And if we ignore this first outlier, first of all, because it's, it's quite substantially lower than the other cars, we're ignoring this car because it's a low in demand car. It's, it's, a, it's a gray car and it's not really a specification that most people are after. But if we go down to this next, this 2023 Lotus Amira in red, we can see that the price was initially posted at 79,990 and it's now listed at 69,250. So it's a drop of over 10,500 pounds, a 13% drop from when it was first posted in September, 2023, compared to the latest change in, in 19th of January, 2024, 10,000, 10,500 pounds drop. If we look at this next car, it's had a drop of 8,500 pounds, which is 11, 11% drop. If we go to this dark Vedant car, this, if we go to this dark Vedant Lotus Mirror, we can see that's been dropped by 7,600 pounds. Now dark Vedant are in the highest demand with regards to the Lotus Mirror, so they should hold their prices the best. If you scroll down a bit further, see prices are more, um, have stabilized a bit more, but then some of these cars have only been listed quite late. So this, this yellow Amira, this Heffel yellow Lotus Amira was only posted on the 2nd of December. So it was posted at around, you know, how the market is posted for around how much the market is at the moment. So 69,999. And that's only got one and a half thousand miles on it. So this Heffel yellow Lotus Amira, remember these first edition cars are around 92,000 pounds on the market now. So to, to, to buy a brand new Lotus Amira, it's around 92,000 pounds. You've got a one and a half thousand mile car here in what was a high demand. I mean, this is pretty much the specification I was going to be going for, Heffel Yellow. Yes, I was going for silver wheels, not black wheels, but in the base specification is what I was going to be looking at and whereas I was going to be paying 82,000 at the time frame I was going to be buying my car. It's what well, it's here now for 70,000. So that's a 10 grand drop on what I was going to be paying or over 10 grand drop, or, you know, you're looking into a, a, a 20 grand drop on, or you're looking into a 20,000 pound drop on getting a new Lotus Amira. So why would you buy a new Lotus Amira at 92,000 pounds in Heffel Yellow when you can come to the marketplace on Auto Trader, and you can buy one here for 69,999, in effect 70,000 pounds, and it's only got one and a half thousand miles on it. So let's take a look at the 992 GT3s because these, was, these were very much a hyped car in the marketplace, in the boomed marketplace. We've got a shark blue 2021 car. It's got 12,820 miles, and this has been dropped 3,000 pounds from when it was first posted in November 2023. Moving on further down, we've got the car that's dropped here, 29,500 pounds, a 15% drop. It was first posted in August 2023 for 195,000. It's now being sold for 165,500. 29,500 pound drop. That's a massive drop. Got another shark fin 992 GT3 here. It's only got three and a half thousand miles on it. It's been dropped 27,000 pounds. 27,000 pounds, 14% drop. It's 167,950 now from initially being posted in August last year, 194,950. 
And again, another drop here as we come to this with Red 992 GT3. This has got, only got 2,248 miles on it. To own a car, it's been dropped by 25,000 pounds to 13, it's been dropped to 25,000 pounds, a 13% drop. And the, and the story just carries on here. We've got another one here, 30,000 pound drop, 15%, which is a 15% drop on this red 992 GT3, only 7,753 miles. So these cars are low mileage. They're initially elevated in that spike booming period. And of course they're all coming down now. All the prices are, are leveling out and actually dropping down lower now. So it's, it's never been a better time to buy a 992 GT3. So now we're gonna change the filtering characteristics on the 992 GT3s to filter highest prices first because we should see uh, a higher impact on the higher priced cars. And this has been dropped 38, this, this 992 GT3, 1,667 miles, so pretty much no mileage at all. So you have to think that these cars probably were purchased as a commodity to, to make some money on these cars, but these people have held on to the cars and they found that they actually can't sell them or, and they've actually found that they can't make the money on them, so they're putting them onto the marketplace now and they're taking a hit on them. So this, this car was initially put on the marketplace in, in um, July 2023 and it's been dropped 38,832 pounds, a 17% drop. That's an incredible drop on a 992 GT3. Again, if we come down here, this is only you had a small drop of 4,000 pounds for this silver 992 GT3. So let's move across to the 992 GT3 RS market. This market was excessively hyped. Now these cars were around 192,000 base and they were elevated optioned up to around 220, 230,000 pounds. And of course the GT3 RS was only special invite. So not everybody could get a 992 GT3, whether it be a GT3 or a GT3 RS especially the RSs were very, very special orders. So only certain customers with certain spending profiles were offered the availability of a 992 GT3 RS. And let's see how these cars have been marketed. Again, we're looking at lowest price first, lowest value cars first, or lowest advertised, lowest value advertised first. We come down here, got a price drop here of 20,000 pounds. This um, GT3 RS was first, this GT3 RS was first listed in on the 6th of January so only got one price change there but it's had a 20,000 pound drop so since it was first listed on the 6th of January it's had a 20,000 pound drop to 349,900 so that's impressive just in a matter of a couple of weeks it's been dropped by 20,000 pounds bloody crazy marketplace we move further down, we've got this car, it's been dropped by 47,000 pounds. So this black, it's got a YSAC pack, GT3 RS. It's only got 340 miles on it. So clearly this car was bought as a commodity to make money on it. And it's it's uh, come onto the marketplace on the 24th of October, 2023, initially priced at 420,000 pounds. 420,000 pounds. Remember that optioned up, this is around 220, 230,000 pounds. With the YSAT pack, maybe a bit more, maybe around 235, at best 240. But it's priced nearly twice the actual initial retail price of the car. But now that's dropped by 47,000, now that, but now that's dropped by 47,000 pounds by 11%. And it's like I say, it's only got 340 miles on it. Scrolling further down, we've got another GT3 RS here, which was initially posted in October 2023 for 450,000 pounds in effect. And it's now been dropped by 70,000 pounds, a 16% drop. On the 18th of January, it was reposted at 380,000 pounds. Crazy, crazy drop. And that again, that's only got 19 miles. So that's delivery mileage. So this car definitely was bought as a commodity. If you enjoyed the video so far, please give the video a thumbs up, give it a like, very important for the channel. And if you like our style of content, please think about subscribing. Now back to the video. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna move across to supercars. This is one of the key marketplaces that we're, we're really keen to look at. And of course, first of all, we're looking at the 458 Italia. Now the 458 obviously is close to my heart. I'm not gonna be looking at spiders. We're gonna look at the Italia because that's, that's more likely to show the trending prices. The spiders are a bit of a rarer car. So again, we're listed on lowest price first. And here we can see this initial, this gray, um, this gray Italia was listed for 100, in effect 112,000 pounds. 
in September 2023, and that's been dropped by £7,000. Now, I'm not expecting to see much of a change in the prices on the 458s because they are holding their values quite well, or the perception is they're holding their values quite well. As you can see down here, now this car's only been dropped by, 900, by £955. So we should see only small drops, and this car's only been dropped by £1,000. This was listed in November 21. This was listed in November 2023, and this has only been dropped by £1,000. If we go down here, we've got a black, a beautiful black Italia with silver wheels. This has got 41,500 miles, and it's a 2012 car, and this has been dropped by £5,000, so 4% drop from when it was initially listed in November 2023 to when it was relisted again on the 17th of January. In general, the, the 458s haven't moved much in their pricing, which is good for me, of course, because it means that my car is mostly retaining its value. And they will have been, they have been impacted by a certain amount because they've come off the spike because they were very buoyant. They've come down off that spike, but they're about level to where they should be at the moment. So that's that's good. They're trending, still trending quite high. So they're still holding their value. Now, what we're going to do here now is we're going to be looking at 296s. Now, these 296s have substantially been impacted by this downturn in the economy. So we, again, we're filtered on lowest first. So let's move down. Let's look at how these 296s are, trend, are trending. So we've seen here for around £300,000 for this red 296. This is a 2023 car. They're going to be recent cars anyway because they're only offered um, fairly recently anyway. It's only got 80 miles. So this is in effect like delivery mileage. Another silver 296 here. It's a 2022 car. Uh, this has been priced. This has actually increased in price. So that's an interesting trend. It was initially posted on the 19th of December 2023 at 283,600 and it's now been upped to 342,720 so it's been increased by 21% so maybe there's an upturn in, in, the, in the trend now so maybe we've seen an upturn in that trend. Again we see another car that's been increased in price. This 296 is red 296. It's red 296 with a black stripe. This was initially posted on the 22nd of December 2023 for 285,600. It's now been increased by 59,520, 21% increase to 345,120. So that's quite a substantial increase. So there's a bit of an upturn trend there. Let's look a bit further down in the marketplace. And we can see here, the the 296s dream drop this one this black this this blue car has been dropped by ten thousand pounds further down this car has been dropped by six thousand pounds again these are fairly low mileage but they have got some mileage on them around five four five thousand miles on these last two cars this this 296 this gray this gray 296 has got the fiorano pack because you can only have this fiorano livery if you've paid for the fiorano pack so this has been a very expensive car this has only got 3900 miles on it it's been dropped by ten thousand pounds initially listed at nearest damn it two hundred fifty thousand pounds and it's been dropped now to two hundred thirty nine thousand nine hundred fifty. so in effect two hundred forty thousand pounds so a ten thousand pound drop and again this car has been dropped by fifteen thousand pounds this particular red 296 GTB has been dropped by 15,000 pounds. By the way, these are all GTBs we're looking at. We're not looking at any GTSs. We've got a 21% increase on this car from when it was initially posted. This car was initially, this 296, 6,454 miles. It's a 2022 car. And this was initially posted on the 19th of December last year at 283,600. And it's been increased by 59,129 pounds. So 21% increase. So that's a substantial increase. That's, yeah, that's, that's really been elevating prices. So maybe we're seeing a bit of an uptrend in the marketplace now. Is the market turning? But these cars, again, when they were listed fairly recently, they're going to be listed commensurate with the marketplace. So when the market's deflated, you're not going to see that change with the Auto Trader plugin. Another car here, red GTB, been dropped by £30,000. So, of course, this car is a good example to look at because it spanned the boom period when we're still in a boom period in August last year. And now we're in um, the current period where the price was changed on 27th of December. So probably you'll see that this price will change again fairly soon. And this price has been dropped by £30,000, a 10% price drop. Oh, we've got a good example here. Now, this car was initially posted for sale again at the boom period. So 22nd of August last year, it was posted at £290,000 in effect, pretty much. It's had a £30,000 drop, a 10% drop now. That there is a good example of showing the, how the prices have changed over the period from when we're in boom period to where we are now with deflated car values. 
While we're here looking at supercars, what we're going to do is look across the Maserati MC20. Just have a quick look at the MC20. Again, filtered on lowest prices first. And as expected, substantial drops here. We've got an MC20 that was listed in March last year. So definitely within the booming period, although MC20s never really boomed, to be honest. We've got a price drop here of £41,000, a 20% drop. It was currently updated on the 6th of January 2024. So it's changed from 204, in effect, £205,000 to £163,990. Beautiful specification on the MC20 as well. It's a £41,000 drop. Incredible. We've got a £46,000 drop here on this MC20. So it has only got 1,657 miles. Crazy, 1,657 miles. 2022 car, and it's been dropped by £46,000. Currently listed at £169,000. That's a hell of a car for £170,000. £169,000, £170,000. Hell of a car. Another one here, £36,000 drop. Now, this was posted in October last year and it was posted at £265,000. It's been dropped to £229,000. 14% drop. And it's only got 332 miles on it. So this is a 2023 Spider MC20 and it's been dropped by £36,000 to £229,000 crazy crazy price drops so now let's move across to the special edition supercars and um, the cars i'm going to look at here for the special edition supercars are the ferrari 488 pista and the ferrari 458 speciale now as people know the 458 speciale is very close to my heart so it's gonna be interesting to see where those prices are now got a pista that was posted here it's only got 6,500 miles, was posted in April last year. So right in that boom period, it was posted. It's been dropped by 45,500 pounds. That's a 2019 car. It's only got 6,500 miles on it. So it's had a drop of 14% since when it was posted and it was revised in, on the 19th of January this year. Now let's do a search on highest value first. So again, because we're filtered here now on the highest on the highest values first, we're going to find that we're going to be hitting all the spiders because they are going to be the high-end cars. They're going to be the most expensive cars. This piece has been dropped by £15,000. It's only got 152 miles on it. Christ, so clearly bought as a commodity car for an eight-piece, and it's only got 231 miles on it. That's sacrilege. These are phenomenal cars. Check out my review. I'll put a link in the description below. Check out my review of the Pista. Absolutely awesome cars. Awesome car. It came first in our top five cars that we reviewed of last year. So again, watch that video as well. I'll put a link in the description below of that video too. So not too much of a drop on the Pistas. You can say, you know, around five, 10, no more than 15,000 pound drop on these cars really, which is still quite a lot, but commensurate with how much they are valued at, it's actually quite a low percentage when you consider MC20s and 296s, for example. Now let's have a look at the 458 Specialis. So this Speciale has been dropped £10,000. It was initially listed in June last year, and it's been, it was revised on the 5th of, 5th of December last year, initially listed at 335000 and it's now at 325000 So it's had a drop of £10,000, a 3% drop over that period. We've got another Speciale here that's been dropped by £5,000. Again, this isn't the Aperta range, so the Aperta will be the higher end. If we go filter on high, we're looking at the GTBs at the moment, the Coupes. So we're looking at the Speciale Coupes. This is at a drop of £5,000, this white car. Now again, white isn't a very sought after colour, it's a flat white. And they're not very sought after in Specialis. It's only a small marketplace that it's being marketed to. So. They're going to be lower valued cars anyway and this is three hundred and twenty five thousand pounds so that's what you'd expect it to be around for that sort of specification six thousand one hundred and eighty two miles 2015 car of course the specialities were were made and when were put to market in 2014 and 2015. let's move further down got a launch spec car here with the Nart Stripe, or the blue Nart Stripe, initially posted at £358,000. Um, it's been revised by £3,500 down to £355,000. So that's about what we'd expect for a launch spec car, really. 7,579 miles on the clock, 2014 car. That's the sort of specification that I would be looking at if and when I'm ever in the marketplace for a Speciale. That would be the sort of specification I'd be looking at because I wouldn't be looking for really low mileage because you pay through the earth for a really low mileage car 
So the market has revised itself back to about a year ago really now. This car's actually been bounced around on its prices. It was lowered and then put back up to where it was initially priced at. So it was priced initially in November last year. And the price now revised on the 19th of January was put back to where it was initially posted at 364,950. So not much of a change. Um, oh, here's, here's a bit of a change. We've got this uh, Speciali. This is a 2015 Speciali with about 4,500 miles on the clock. Initially posted in June last year at £390,000. It's now been revised to £370,000 pretty much. So that's had a £20,000 drop. It's a 5% drop. Now that's the highest mover that we've seen on the Speciali so far. Again, a £15,000 drop here, 4% drop on this Speciali, but it's got the tricolor, tri it's got the Italian tricolor stripe, which isn't very much in demand, to be honest. People usually want, if people want a stripe on a, on a Speciali, then they want the Nart stripe, which is the blue stripe. This has got no stripe, so this is £380,000. It's only got 2,550 miles. <coughs> I would say that's probably going to be one of the last ones to sell because everybody wants them with a stripe and that's at a hell of an increased price for a speciality without a stripe. It's only got 2,555 miles, but still, you know, that's been priced quite high and that's had a 15% drop from when it's initially priced. In April last year, it's priced at £390,000. So now it's been dropped to £375,000 pretty much. I mean, they put these prices at 374995 In effect, it's £375,000. It's just how they try and market them to give the perception that the price is actually lower than it really is. Price drop here of £15,000 on this Speciali with a tricolour stripe. Now, if we go and look at the top end of the market, let's see if we can pick any apertures up here. Let's, let's filter on the high. So, yeah, we've got some apertures here. £650,000, which is what we've seen these priced at. This is a beautiful, I think it's Giallo Modena. I don't think it's a triple layer. It might be triple layer paint, but I think it's Giallo Modena. And this is priced at £650,000, which is about right for an Aperta, especially Aperta. These were limited numbers, although not specifically limited. The cars weren't actually numbered specifically. This Ferrari never specifically numbers cars, or very, very rarely does. Um, this Speciali, which has got the Nart stripe, um, this has uh, only got 89 miles and it's a very, very low mileage. So this is a commodity car. This car hasn't been driven. So this is a £400,000 car. And this is priced accordingly because it's a museum piece. It's going to go into somebody's collection. So um, it's not. It's never going to be driven. If somebody drives this car, they're going to substantially devalue it and it'll only hold its value if it's kept with really low miles. Now, with regards to hypercars, I'm going to be looking at four different cars. Initially, I'm going to be looking at the Carrera GT. Then I'm going to be looking at the Holy Trinity. Now, there's only two Carrera GTs listed here on Auto Trader. <clears throat> As you'd expect, quite a rare car, so very few people are going to be selling them. And these haven't been changed with regards when they were initially posted. And you've got this car commensurately. You've got this car posted at one, one £1,600,000 for this silver, for this silver car. This is pretty much the very, very sought after specification. 2006 car, only 3,235 miles. So they're all going to be fairly low miles on these on these Carrera GTs because they're not driven that much. And 1,600,000. And this um, black car, which is a bit higher mileage, but not much higher, just over 5,000 miles. is at 1,395,000 pounds. And neither of these have been adjusted for price. And this is what I expected to see. Moving across to the Porsche 918. Again, we've only got two cars being posted here for sale. We've got a change on this second car. So the first car has been, is listed at £1,295,000. That hasn't been adjusted at all on its price. The second car was initially listed at £1,375,000 and was dropped to £1,425,000, but now has been put back again on the 16th of January to £1,375,000. This is interesting. You know, we may be seeing a bit of a rise in the marketplace, although hypercars in general aren't impacted by a downturn in the economy. Let's move across to the P1s. And we've got four P1s listed here. Here we're looking at a 2015 McLaren P1. It's listed at £1,350,000. It was initially listed in October last year at £1,250,000. So this has been increased 
by a hundred thousand pounds. Hypercars are just going to carry on trending up in my opinion. They're not going to trend down. So let's move across and have a look at the LaFerraris. Well, only one LaFerrari listed here and this has had no price change as you'd expect. So pretty much as expected, hypercars aren't being adjusted in this marketplace because they're not affected by a downturn in the economy because of the wealthy customer base that they're being marketed to. So there you have it. That's our summary of the market.